Um, hello. Uh, uh, happy uh, Tuesday, I guess. Uh, and uh, uh, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully, everybody is having a, a fantastic and uh, favorite uh, day of the day, or whatever. You know, every day is a good day, especially today. Every gift is a good gift. It's a present. Hi, guys. Well. Um, so I'm just going to make this, uh, really quick video. I'm not really going to talk, I mean, not too much about it, but I'm just going to say what, what the Holy Spirit wants me to say. Nothing less and nothing more. So grace and peace be multiplied to you, uh, in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ, um, reign in your hearts, uh, and the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. All right, we're off to a good start. So this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Because this is the day that God has made for us, for you, for me, and for everyone. Let us be of sober mind and not uh, be drunk. So uh, I'm sure this is going to level ahead many, indivi many individuals who are maybe possibly drunk. Uh, but repent. Lose, you, can't, you can't do it by yourself. Lose a good spirit inside to actually be able to do it. Or fail and fall on your face. So, uh, so I'm just gonna make some quick uh, remarks and some quick posts. But I'm just gonna talk about the first things that I actually have to talk about. Uh, the things that come up uh, into my mind. Uh, so basically, uh, this is just not even common knowledge, but this is just something that individuals is really common and happens to everyone. Um, for them to actually be uh, uh, cursed with all types and all various curses uh on a daily basis uh this is just mm, this is just not normal it's not right that they have some sort of legal ground to be able to do this uh but everybody is going through it but because we actually are saved and we're saved through you know, the blood of the lamb by grace through faith uh we actually have the the ability and the capability to destroy all of these curses that come inside of our lives like nothing uh, but obviously they'll come inside of your life to try to make it seem like the curse is a lot bigger uh, than, uh, than what it actually is. But obviously this is another curse in itself. But you can break that curse uh, as well as breaking the other curse. As well as breaking all the curses that you need to uh, need to break in the proper order that they should be broken. And so it's just the same uh, principle but it's not obviously the same uh, application where you don't cure a headache with a band-aid. Uh, you just uh, make the right precautions and you take the right steps to uh, uh, to do it in its proper order and place to break all the curses that you have that you need to break. Obviously, you need to break every curse, but uh, not every curse. Um, what would be the word? Uh, you have to get through some curses first before you get to another curse. But all curses can be broken, uh, as there seems to be an order with these types of things, or not. You can just ask Christ Himself, and He'll uh, perfectly explain it to you. That way, you could actually understand. Uh, so uh, that was basically about it. As individuals are just being cursed uh, on a daily basis, especially in the morning, and uh, God's Christ's grace actually is the reason why uh, some of these curses don't even stick. But I've already come to the knowledge and the understanding that he does not at all want you to just be uh, laid back, relaxed, and just, ah, grace is going to just take me through this entire road. And this, you have to take, obviously the Holy Spirit is the one doing all the work that's breaking the curses and doing this work. But you have, obviously have to take an active role in breaking every one, one of these curses and every one of these legal grounds. These are two, two different words, but one and the same thing. Uh, the legal grounds themselves are actually um, uh, a curse, and uh, the demon in itself is actually a curse. So you obviously have to break all these uh, these curses on a daily basis, and just to ensure that these things uh, don't bother you, uh, and and are not even in your life when they shouldn't even be in your life to begin with, as it's completely unnecessary. You're bought, redeemed. Uh, and saved, uh, and the fact that you even have uh, these legal grounds, that they even tell you, you have these legal grounds, should, uh, should just quicken you uh, and quicken your spirit to actually understand that you have the authority and the power to actually break all these curses. So it's completely unnecessary to just uh, wait 
uh, for a more appropriate time to just break the curses as the curse of cancer obviously cancer is a spirit it's a demon itself uh, you can just break the curse uh, but individuals need the faith and they need to do it in its proper order uh, we're in the same thing where individuals just don't grab a hammer and destroy it and dismantle the crib with it you have to take the right tools and the right uh, uh, precautions to ensure that you're actually taking this uh, crib apart uh, where you have to start uh, so that's pretty self-explanatory it's pretty easy uh, but uh, every demon on itself any any activity or anything that belongs to the kingdom of darkness or anything that's demonic in itself uh, is 100% a curse you have been cursed uh, with a curse so God himself cursed you because he saw you that you actually fell into sin and that's the real reason why you have been cursed and this uh, thing came inside of your life uh, just like how individuals have the curse of death uh, for for the sin of Eve and Adam uh, and Adam and Eve it's the same exact concept every demonic thing that is on you right now is 100% a curse and all of it is just heavily dependent on your own faith whether you're actually able to be whole 100% whole or whether you're just going to teeter-totter with this thing and just keep playing games with God and being like well I guess it's just not my time or uh, I guess I just have to wait it out uh, that's, uh, that's a lie just keep moving it forward moving in the right direction and, and uh, do it in, in its proper order and, and do the work to ensure that you actually are breaking every single curse to get to the main curses uh, and really putting your plow deep into the soil into the dirt and getting those deeper roots uh, out because some of these uh, things in itself are actually these deeper roots are the reasons why uh, some of the individuals are just so backwards uh, so um, uh, what would be the word uh, so twisted so distorted their whole image in itself is just decrepit I know I say that word often but obviously everybody has a, has a mental image of what decrepitness looks like and what an individual who is a lot older uh, looks like but uh, obviously they've been cursed and you could even see all these curses are on them and they're layered on them and until God actually sets them free or another person sets them free through the Holy Spirit himself that is doing the work uh, this individual will never be set free. So nudge the body of Christ to ensure that you actually are taking care of the elderly uh, and uh, individuals in the body of Christ as well. And to be interceding strategically for these people because you have the authority and the power to uh, to do this. So obviously if you have the authority to, and, and the power to pay for somebody's um, uh, bill uh, at Walmart, uh, well... You know, you have just millions upon millions. Obviously, you're just going to pay their bill. It's just like $100 to that. It's like five nickels or something. It's not really anything. So uh, $100 is not going to kill you. You could pay these individuals is um, a $50 tab or, or whatever it may be uh, without flinching and, and things of that nature. But obviously, individuals are greedy, covetous, and other things like that. But... Uh, so that was pretty self-explanatory. I don't really have much else to, to say or talk to in depth about it. Uh, just because these curses in itself, uh, they're realistically, uh, every curse on you, everything that is demonic that is on you and it won't leave. Obviously, these are things that these individuals are in your lives for that they don't actually want to leave uh, because they feel like they have to stay and they can stay because they have some sort of legal grounds but if you break the curse uh, that in itself uh, you're killing two birds with one stone and you're not really asking questions of whether or not it has legal grounds to actually stay you're automatically just breaking the curse so these things are forced to leave uh, as individuals and I've heard this plenty of times as well when I was delivering myself. Uh, they'll say that I, I I have to I have to stay. I, I you know you can't for, you can't make me leave. And I say, well, I have grounds to stay. I have legal grounds to stay. And until you actually break the curse, then obviously they'll, they'll go off crying and they're like, well, now we have to leave. Uh, every all most most common more often than not the reasonings why uh, these things are actually resisting you is because it's a, it's. You have to break the legal grounds and the curse uh, itself. And, and that's why uh, these things resist you. Uh, these things do not actually want to leave whatsoever inside of you because you haven't uh, really uh, attacked the root cause to ensure this thing actually leaves. 
Uh, so in essence and in short, this is the the real reason why. But uh, every demonic uh, thing on you, anything that is contrary to your uh, to your heavenly image uh, on earth, even how your mind thinks, how fast you're able to learn, and how you're actually able to function in heaven, uh, it is all a curse and it's all demonic. So. Everybody already has this uh, foreknowledge of what they would actually be like if they were in heaven. Uh, and obviously, many individuals will be like, well, I know I will be beautiful, or uh, I know I will be a lot more intelligent, or I know I will be a lot more sharper, and other things like that. Obviously, you've identified these these uh, ailments themselves to be 100% demonic, and because you've identified it, uh, you know that you could obviously get help. You're going to need Christ Himself to actually increase your faith, that it increases, multiplies, and abounds, as well as praying for a more excellent way. Because I'm sure there is. This is not the only way for you to obviously get uh, better. I'm sure Christ Himself is not going to run out of tactics or wisdom to actually ensure you get delivered more efficiently, uh, more rapidly. Uh, and definitely uh, a lot wiser. So, uh, hearken to it, lay it to heart, and uh, give it to Christ. Uh, don't listen to anything that these devils say. That in itself is a curse. So, because it's a curse, uh, you can obviously break it. Whenever these devils come inside of your life and you begin entertaining the thought, uh, you're cursed with a curse. Uh, because that in itself is actually a sin. You're not actually supposed to be entertaining any wicked thought. Uh, so especially not any wicked uh, demon itself. So uh, you've been cursed uh, to even entertain these thoughts and to just uh, give it, um, what would be the word, uh, the time of day. So uh, hard to get to it, lay it to heart, that's essentially it. Uh, thank you. Uh, if you're actually applying it, it means a lot to Christ himself that you wouldn't even take the time to, to sanctify yourselves, to dwindle the numbers, and to actually replace uh, the evil spirits with good spirits. And this is what you have to do because now it's just uh, vacant, it's empty, and you have to replace it with something good to ensure that this ailment and this thing never comes back with seven wicked, more, more wicked demons. Uh, as this in itself uh, is what tends to happen, but uh, it's more or less you, you're uh, more sensitive to these things. Uh, and because you're not really, you don't really have this problem anymore. So, uh, in short, because you're more sensitive to uh, the demonic activity that's no longer in your life anymore, uh, these themes seem to be a lot more intense uh, than they previously were because you've already uh, been, um, what's the word? Uh, you already have this, um, you're more sensitive to it. Uh, so don't worry about it if it comes back worse. You're just getting more sensitive to, to the spiritual things, and you're not really letting these things actually have a foothold or place whatsoever. It's 100% good, uh, and it is not at all bad. I know individuals like to think that they oftentimes get overwhelmed, but obviously you have to have a, a good attitude and a good state of mind that this this is all good, and. Uh, Obviously, not let these things, right? This is just common sense. Not let these things happen inside of your life, but uh, it, it's good that you actually become sensitive to these types of things because individuals are not really, uh, uh, they weren't really as discerned as prior to before uh, them even noticing the thing was actually there. But now they're actually noticing the thing there, so uh, it, it's good in itself. So uh, practice makes perfect. Uh, Christ is a more excellent way than that because I'm sure he himself does not want you at all uh, thinking that these things should uh, come inside of your life as there's an order of how things happen in heaven and this is the same order you should practice and follow on earth because you're already uh, bought and redeemed and it's, it's almost as if you already are in heaven itself so uh, obviously you're going to have to apply yourselves diligently and make the right efforts and consistent efforts to ensure this just becomes a part of your habit and this just becomes a part of your way of thinking because uh, people are uh, generally distracted from the cares of the world and this uh, in, in short actually ends up uh, halting their whole process uh, and uh, just um, prolonging the process obviously if you would have just fasted for like three days you obviously are not really distracted with the cares of the world whatsoever so because you're not really distracted with the cares of the world at all uh, you're more centered and focused on on what Christ and God himself actually wants you to do so uh, and you obviously have all your attention focused uh, on doing holy things and, and being righteous uh, and the time that you would obviously have to 
to eat you obviously completely 100 percent just focus it on um making the efforts that you have to make and applying yourselves uh as you should just because you have the time to and other individuals don't really have the time to 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 do these things because they have activities uh and other things like that so think about it and ponder it because just fast just to hurry up and get that thing into a habit of yours that way you're not really wasting time uh, and you would have long since been delivered from all of your ailments and even your state of mind and your way of thinking where uh, things realistically have no effect on you but it's just your own how you're actually viewing it uh, in the same manner where homosexuality has no effect on you whatsoever what would be the real reasonings behind why some of these things are actually affecting you as much as they're affecting you uh, this is obviously all a mental thing this is all uh, based on your own intelligence as these devils themselves are using you to destroy you so they're using your logic to destroy you they're using your rationality to destroy you uh, they're using your wits to destroy you and they're using your confirmations and what makes sense to you uh destroy you so um uh, this this is in essence what exactly what is happening to everyone on the face of this earth uh, everyone has this moral compass and an integrity that they guide themselves with, um, but uh, and, and the devils are using it also to ensure that they can actually destroy you. This is why individuals are decrepit, they're older, uh, they don't really have as much light, and they're not really grounded and actually using the truth uh, to fight uh in spiritual warfare. As if you use the truth to actually fight in spiritual warfare, uh, you're obviously going to win because you are already ground and you understand that this in itself is 100% truth so because it's actually true there's not really a uh, uh, left or right for any individuals to go to you understand that this is it there's nothing else other than this you can't deceive me whatsoever and essentially you're going to win because of it so uh, use the truth to your advantage use the truth to, to fight your battles and to fight your, your spiritual warfare uh, things that you obviously have to fight uh, just because what is true is always going to true is always going to remain true it is not what is truth is always going to remain truth there is nothing anybody can do to change the truth uh, although individuals will definitely uh, try to twist the truth or even try to bring their own truth into it none of that is based on anything true whatsoever so it's a complete uh, waste of time to even bother thinking about it uh, and it's a complete uh, it's just pointless to even entertain so uh just obviously this is in itself uh your weapon of warfare where the devil himself is a liar uh you use the truth to to fight everything that the devil throws at you as this is faith and this is truth in itself the only way you're actually going to be ground in this faith and in this truth is if you actually know what is written in the scriptures if you don't realistically know what is written in the scriptures you're going to obviously listen to the devil's version of truth and call it truth but if you're already ground and solid in the scriptures themselves and you actually read the scriptures you know them like the back of your hand and things of that nature uh then there's not really much that they can say to you they're obviously going to be throwing everything they can to uh to try to get you to waver or to try to get you to stray away from that truth but uh all truth is solid all truth is absolute and all truth has no left it has no right it's 100 percent ground uh and forward and straight ahead so uh hearken to that use it to actually perfect your heavenly character as well as to be able to uh what would be the word to ensure that you're actually doing the works to receive the rewards uh, of the heavenly jewels themselves uh as this in itself is uh, mostly discipline this is what christ himself is trying to give me to understand that how are you able to actually receive these heavenly jewels like things that kind of resemble diamonds but you have no real word to actually you've never heard this word ever before and you've never seen this jewel ever or anything remotely like it or uh, you will have to be disciplined and you have to discipline yourselves uh to to be able to um work this work to have this virtue and to keep this virtue if you don't really have a foundation of discipline in itself you're really not going to get these rewards as well as you if you really have a, a discipline if you're not really disciplined in itself to know and to understand that you're not exempt whatsoever from disobeying or from obeying christ himself 
uh, then obviously you're just going to believe everything that the devil throws at you. You're not really much going to give uh, crisis commands much of a thought, and you're just going to rely on your own intelligence and on your own uh, way of thinking. And uh, that, in essence, and in short, is essentially what is actually going to happen to people. Uh, it is what happens to people, and this is how angels of light uh, even uh, come inside creeping. But uh, it's pretty easy to combat. Obviously, you use the truth to fight it. Uh, and in this, uh, you use the truth of what Christ said to do in these situations where individuals will even curse another individual that curses them when Christ himself has already commanded us uh, to bless them that curse you uh, because they think it's right. Obviously, that it just exposes it 100% and you're just like, wow, I can't believe this. I can't believe people are, are, are actually thinking like this, but... Uh, obviously, everybody falls short and everybody thinks in this way in, in some shape or form and in some aspect. So, that's more of the obvious of things that you would even be like, no way, I would never uh, be exempt from ever blessing my people that curse me. But obviously, the devil comes in like an angel of light, masquerading itself as uh, everything that you've ever hoped for and everything you've ever dreamed. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's realistically that simple to be able to discern uh, what is truth is always going to be truth and absolute. There is no wavering or exemption from disobeying Christ's commands themselves. So, listen to it and apply it to it. Uh, so, cursing you with forgetfulness of what God is and who he is. This is what individuals actually do. So, uh, admit you are unforgiving and bitter or proud. Uh, and you're cursed with the curse, so it's a demon by God, which is why you go in this loop and in the same temptations because he is trying to kill you. So God himself is trying to kill you at that point uh, because you're actually playing games with him. So whenever you recognize or you notice something that actually happens inside of your life and you realize that you're always getting into this loop and you're always repeating the same mistakes and the same sins, uh, I'm going to use one example. Oh, man. Uh, mm. I really don't have the example anymore. It's just, and you find yourself uh, following the same mistakes, and you have, and you have this deep contrition and, and penitent uh, heart uh, towards your your sin, and you falling into sin. This is a curse in itself that you've been cursed with that is causing you to revert back into the same old patterns and the same old uh, behaviors, uh, and because of it. Uh, you keep falling. You're you keep falling for the same temptation and the same tactics of the devil. You're not really able to discern what is really happening inside of your life. Uh, so in short, and in essence, this is uh, a, a curse that is actually you've been cursed with. So well, until you actually break the curse and you deliver yourself from this way of thinking, you're never going to get out of it. Uh, individuals are even to to this day they're still playing this this game with God, and God is waiting for these individuals to finally wake up and recognize that. Uh, hell is hot and you should not at all be playing games with God whatsoever sin is not just going to be a part of your lifestyle you have to uh, man up and, and grow up about the situation uh, and just uh, recognize that you have to be perfect as Christ himself is perfect uh, and and see these things for what they actually are uh, because this is a subtle compromise in itself that the devil manipulates and uses to his advantage because you already admitted defeat You've already admitted that you're not going to change because sin is just going to be a part of your lifestyle. It's a subtle confession, but the confession was still there. Uh, and in essence, and in short, this is ex the exact, uh, you know, this is what the devil, he will love nothing more than for individuals to believe that sin is just going to be a part of their lifestyle because they've already admitted defeat. They're not really looking forward and they're not really taking accountability of themselves uh, whatsoever and at all. So they're just, they're just looking at it and they're just like, wow, I, I can't. I can't believe this. Uh, and they're like, again, as a, and this is the same loop that I'm talking about. It's like, I can't believe this happened again. Well, God knows my heart, and I'm saved by grace through faith, but uh, that uh, is error. Grace is not a license to sin. So you've already come to uh, a little bit of more of a depth uh, to that verse and that scripture uh, of what is written in the scriptures, that grace is not a license to sin whatsoever. Uh, so... Uh, in essence and in short, this is the exact reason why individuals fail, uh, and this is the exact reason why individuals end up even dying. They they accept a lukewarm lifestyle, and uh, they ex and and they take this lukewarm approach uh, to the gospel uh, and and to the general overall active role uh, that they need to take in their salvation itself. They just kick their feet up and they're just like whatever. This is my life. 
I'm saved by grace through faith. I don't even got to, well, maybe not. Individuals already have this common knowledge that they actually have to read the scriptures themselves, but not everybody is like that. Uh, so, obviously, that in itself would expose uh, what you're more sensitive to uh, and, and things that you're not easily uh, beguiled by. So, uh, these types of things in itself are, are uh, it even opens your eyes to actually see that you need to be more sensitive to the spiritual things uh, and you need to increase your, your spiritual sharpness uh, as. Uh, you're spiritually sharp in that aspect of things where you know you have to read the scriptures themselves. But obviously, another aspect of things of what God actually demands from you, and when God actually commands you, uh, you keep falling short, uh, so to speak. That is not to say that you're actually uh, doing that you're not saved or that you actually are saved. Uh, but let's not sugarcoat it. You're probably not saved, uh, and uh, that's that's basically. It about that you're gonna have to admit these types of things uh, within yourself or you're never going to take the leap of faith and you're never going to take the right foot forward to actually change in the same manner where an alcoholic continues drinking because he doesn't see his life as destructive or a problem because he thinks that one little slip up is not really all that much or, or things of that nature uh, it is the same as that concept you've already have uh, pacified yourself and uh, and uh, and you're living in denial uh, about your actual habits uh, and your destructive behaviors that are not at all, um, uh, what's the word, morally upright. Uh, and, uh, I think the word, the correct word would be um, righteous. So, uh, or holy or, or things of that nature. So obviously individuals are, are truly going to have to uh, humble themselves down uh, and recognize uh, that they're really going to have to admit some things that they're not really actually uh, ready to admit yet but they're going to have to now or it's now or never so uh lay it to heart and actually hearken to it because you must uh and you have to so fast that way these habits are quicker because you just have nothing but time you're not really distracted from anything else you already have come to the knowledge and the understanding that if you actually begin fasting you shouldn't be talking to another individual as much as you think this is more of a private time between you and God himself as more of an intimate time between you and God himself and not really much of anything else you don't have the time you don't have the, the luxury or even the pleasure to actually indulge in these pleasures themselves and to take the time to delight in talking to somebody else because you have already recognized that these things are strictly between you and God so hearken and lay it to heart So obviously this is uh, why you go in this loop and the same to t and the same to t temptations because he is trying to kill you, which is why you get comfortable with these harassments and frequent and reoccurring demonic activity through some sort of legal ground. Uh, break the curse and attack the root cause. Every demonic problem is 100% a curse, and if you have a demon problem in general, you have been cursed by God because you actually fell into sin. So that's the wages of your that's the wages of your sin. For every curse that you actually have on you. Uh, and every sin that you have committed in your life, God curses you automatically for these type of things. So unless you actually, this is just the law, this is just the legal grounds that the devil is obviously able to work through. So these legal grounds themselves are only available if you fall into temptation and you fall into the sin. So if you fall into sin itself, the devils have the legal ground and, and to actually enter your life. Uh, so... That's about it. Get rid of all of them and prioritize the root causes or they will never stop uh, harassing you and you will never stop uh, being in that way of uh, just not being whole. In your heart, mind, soul, will, and emotions because these curses work together to destroy you. So don't listen to a devil. Uh, that's a curse also. So obviously you're going to need grace. Uh, so you've identified the problem, but you're doing it by yourself. It, it is not the gospel. Your legal grounds are to destroy all darkness because you yourself are actually light. You are going to have to give it to Christ because you are not all-knowing, and Christ will give you his infinite grace and power. If you had just broken the legal grounds, every demon would have to leave. But this is exactly why you are going into torment. You have not broken the legal grounds or the root causes. But I'm just going to talk about what I was actually uh, mentioned earlier. That they'll, they'll never stop if you don't actually attack uh, the root causes themselves. You're going to keep going in this loop. Uh, and, and 
and you, if you never attack the loop itself uh, or in the curse of the loop itself uh, they're not going to stop whatsoever so you're going to have to actually deliver yourselves uh, and, and give darkness what belongs to darkness and give to God what belongs to God this obviously starts in your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and your emotions. Uh, your emotions themselves are able to be controlled uh, um, by your your mind uh, and your heart as well. Especially your heart. That's the root cause of the actual ailment itself. Because you've already accepted it and confirmed it with yourself that this is just how you are. And this all this is just perfectly fine uh, through your mind. So obviously you don't really have that integrity inside of your heart. Uh, but this in turn is how uh, your your will actually begins to uh, be uh, abused and, and used uh, through the, your emotions itself. This is why individuals lash out. This is why individuals take out the frustrations. This is why individuals are lazy. They don't want to read the scriptures and they want to read audio Bibles and, and things of that nature. So uh, your emotions are are in, are in turn uh, affecting your will itself, and as well as your heart in, in itself and your soul, your general character. That's what's being affected the most, though. Obviously, all this is just to get to your soul itself and to actually have these uh, these flaws and these. Uh, uh, these demonic things uh, become a part of your character and, and just become burrowed uh, deep inside of your character. So this is in turn uh, their main goal and how they actually do it. They use your emotions. Uh, many individuals use individuals' emotions to actually uh, continue uh, having a girlfriend uh, and they'll be like, well, I should be popping up in those memories pretty soon. This is essentially what individuals do in the first heaven, but the, these devils do it a lot more cunningly uh, and a lot more deceptively where uh, they'll trigger your emotions and they'll stir you up. And you don't even recognize why you're being stirred up. And obviously there's a demonic problem inside of yourself that is actually able to be stirred up to begin with. So obviously this is just pretty common sense and pretty common knowledge to just get rid of it. Uh, but if you don't have the foreknowledge to know that this in itself is actually 100% demonic, how are you supposed to how are you supposed to know you're just like well this is just how i think this is just how i am uh how am i supposed to change um, i've been like this all my life so obviously this is a mind game as well how they, they try to get inside of the heads uh, of individuals is just how i am it's just how i always been so the individual themselves never accept that they actually have to uh they have to change that they actually have a problem in itself and this problem in itself is what uh is identified and, and individuals just don't want to identify the problem they, want to, they, are, they just live in denial for all of their lives and they just uh, admit that this in itself is just how they are uh, it's perfectly fine it's perfectly normal I've met plenty of people like me uh, but these individuals are, are completely dysfunctional uh, unstable uh, bipolar maybe people would say uh, but that in itself is just a spirit of instability these individuals are just unstable emotional uh, and realistically a mess they're a wreck as individuals uh, put uh in, in the carnal aspect of things and, and in carnal words these individuals are a mess and a wreck so uh your legal grounds are to destroy all darkness because you are light you are going to have to give it to christ because you are not all knowing and christ will give you his infinite grace and power if you have just break the legal grounds every demon will have to leave but this is exactly why you're going into torment so give it to christ please to ensure you are not uh being affected by demons that should have no effect on you as different types of demonic tactics and obvious or hidden activity uh as specific enough to let you know any demonic suffrage is completely unnecessary so obviously you have to give it to Christ to ensure that you're not affected by demons that should have any effect on you whatsoever. As this in itself is pretty broad enough to attack a variety of different types of demonic tactics that come inside of your life. An obvious demonic activity or hidden demonic activity. And specific enough uh, to let you know any demonic suffrage uh, is completely enough. So obviously I got my point across when I actually said that. That... Uh, everything is just completely uh, necessary because uh, there's certain uh, sins and certain ailments that don't affect you whatsoever but uh, this mental game like how I mentioned uh, is obviously some of it could be played by your emotions uh, but more often than not uh, it's, it's probably a mental game. Uh, guys typically are, are emotional individuals so it's a lot more uh, difficult to get inside of their heads or not inside of their heads, inside of their emotions. As these individuals are more level-headed, they're more ground, they're more just like whatever Bob kind of 
uh, kind of did me shady yesterday, but it's all good. And they, they're more, uh, what is it, let go type of people. Uh, women are more the emotional and unstable uh, of, of people because of just uh, how indoctrinated they are inside of, in the world to, to accept the lies of the devil. And this is uh, why they're, they're essentially always get tossed to and fro. So... So your Leo grounds are to destroy all all problems. So, I mean, all, yeah, all demonic problems. That's your Leo grounds to destroy all anything that's that's a problem in the, in the demonic. But obviously, I just mentioned right now how all of these things in itself uh, work together to destroy your soul. So uh, your emotions work together to dis to get inside of your heart, to get to your mind, uh, to destroy your will, and your will is what is affecting your soul because your will, it is your will in itself to even get up and to actually want to watch my videos or even get up and to even want to get delivered or to even get up and to uh, read the scriptures themselves. That is your will. But if they could attack your emotions, your mind, your heart, your soul, and your will, and your and whatever, obviously these individuals are not really... Um, uh, what would be the word? And they're, they're obviously not going to pick a Bible up or they're not going to do anything like that and actually move in the right direction. So, uh, yes, having a good mind uh, is, is generally good and being stable in mind is good. But all of these things, your mind, your heart, your soul, your will, and your emotions must be working in harmony together uh, under Christ himself. So, obviously, if everything is ground in Christ, your emotions are ground in Christ, uh, it you've destroyed your emotions and your spiritual sensibility has been sharpened and uh and your mind is 100 percent we you have the mind of christ and your heart is 100 percent i'm not exempt whatsoever and, and i know these things and your will is 100 percent and you're like well this and that and then obviously your soul is going to be in harmony with all these things and your, and your spiritual prosperity is going to actually uh skyrocket and go through the roof but if you really are just attacking one single thing in itself how are you supposed to get delivered you've attacked one problem but you still have completely neglected other aspects of your life and because of that you're obviously paying the consequences for it and you can't really be mad at your own results that you actually are getting because you're not really uh attacking everything that you have to be uh be attacking you've uh, been completely negligent and neglected uh certain aspects that you have never uh, should have neglected ever so uh, you're paying the consequences for it you have nobody to blame but yourself so give it to christ uh and, and pray about it to christ he shows you a more excellent way uh, as individuals need it so unnecessary suffrages are making themselves of an effect while there are others who have come in your life and you didn't bet an eye so they're all the same but your own state of mind is what's causing the suffrage if you sometimes if something becomes frequent or reoccur reoccurring understand you've been cursed through some sort of pre-existing legal ground or legality so any demon problem in your life is a curse you've been cursed and placed and has been placed there by god so obviously you have to move up the ladder to get the root cause out and all demons are on you for no other reason than you thinking they should stay. So obviously get rid of all of them. That one was just pretty, uh, pretty crazy because no, there is absolutely no demonic activity that is on you, uh, that is on you for any other reason except for you not actually taking your authority and accepting your legal ground uh, to kick them out because that's your legal ground. That's that's your birthright and that's your authority and your legal grounds that actually belong to you. The devil has the legal grounds to get inside of your life and to make you sin and to force you to sin. You have the legal grounds to just kick him out and kick him in his teeth. Uh, it's realistically that simple uh, and that easy to understand and to grasp. You, the angels will definitely back you up. You have all the manpower in the uh, in heaven and you're not going to make a dent whatsoever in the armies of heaven itself. So don't even focus on the resources. The devils themselves will come inside of your life and you're just going to be like, okay. Uh, and and you're going to believe everything they say and you're just going to be like I guess I just don't have the manpower or I guess I'm not saved or I guess it's just not my time so obviously if you're ignorant about these things you're going to lose don't use darkness to fight darkness use light to fight darkness and that's essentially it you are fighting people who are uh, that's something else make sure no demon is having more effect on you than it, uh, that is based 
uh, on deception and just in general make sure that no demon is having any effect on you whatsoever just because you've already come to this truth in itself and you're going to you're going to use this truth uh to to ward them off and to fight them off uh because it's, uh, obviously you've already accepted it as truth that is completely unnecessary uh to suffer for anything so uh just be grounded in this truth and, and give it to christ and obviously fast So all demons are on you for no other reason you th than you thinking they should stay. So obviously get rid of all of them. So just because you think they should stay and just because you haven't really accepted you have the legal grounds to get rid of every single demon that is on you. Or I, I guess I have to wait. I have to do it how God himself wants me to actually do it. So that in short, in essence, is the real reason why. Uh, so uh, fear the Lord. You are fighting people who are attempting to define the truth when the truth never changes. So at face value, they are fighting their own intelligence and receiving a confirmation that they got you to believe them, but the truth never changes. So this one in itself uh, was just pretty self-explanatory and powerful in itself, that they're using their own wits to convince you that the truth has actually changed. And if you actually end up falling for anything that they say that comes out of their mouth, uh, even though the truth never changes, then you you already have accepted this spirit of superstition inside of your life, and and now the devil can just twist your mind and just control it however he wants because now you uh, have fallen away from the truth, and now you're obviously relying on superstition to guide you into the all light, uh, and that in itself is actually darkness. This is why you obviously always fight I mean, and lose. It's because you fight darkness. Uh, with darkness and you're not really using the truth which is light to fight darkness do you think honestly if you use the truth i'm just going to ask this question just to get it inside of your head that is that simple and that easy to obviously tell and to know if you use the truth to fight all of your battles are you honestly going to lose if you already read the scriptures you confirmed it within yourself to know that these things are actually true what is really causing these problems inside of your life in all honesty you're realistically not all that ground in truth or you have some sort of lies in there that is that is twisted and uh uh and they've twisted the truth to their own agenda so you're seriously going to have to give it to christ and investigate yourselves and just fight with the truth uh, and use the truth to your own advantage and you'll definitely win So obviously these individuals are fighting their own intelligences and receiving a confirmation that they got you to believe them, but the truth never changes. So obviously they're not successful ever because of it. The truth does not change. You already come to the knowledge and understanding that the truth does not change. So it's completely stupid. And give it to Christ because you live in a world of absolute truth and not the secular lie. And don't be and don't be reliant on your definition of truth, but Christ's definition in truth in all aspects. Uh, the truth never changes and you use that to win against darkness. They should not be doing anything, period. So use the truth to fight every battle and all your faults and all battles. Use the truth to fight the biggest battles to, and to be whole in your heart, your mind, your soul, your will, and your emotions. And use the truth to get your deliverance. So that one is, so is just pretty self-explanatory. It's just completely stupid for these individuals to even bother trying to throw their wits at you uh, to attempt to deceive you uh, just because the truth never changes. So uh, obviously you're going to have to uh, be solid and ground in this way of thinking and just even just have this knowledge be retentive inside of your mind because then you already have already won you already come to the knowledge and understand that you use the truth to absolutely fight them and just use the truth to waste their time and you, and you use the truth to uh not let them uh stay on you or or, or to remain on you as uh, that's realistically the real reason why is just because you haven't taken the authority and you haven't taken the legal grounds for you to actually be able to deliver yourselves as most things themselves you have to work to get a job or you have to work to get money uh or you're going to be broke or you're going to be homeless it's the same exact thing you have to work uh, to get your deliverances obviously the holy spirit is the one doing the work so you know you're going to win as you're going to use this truth in itself to actually allow you to win but the truth never changes right so it's realistically that simple and and you just need to be that ground you're obviously going to fast you're going, you're going to have to fast to get this habit formed inside of your mind your heart your soul your will and your emotions uh as 
uh, there's too many distractions in the earth. Individuals watch television. Uh, they they latch onto something that sounds remotely true, and, and they apply it to their lives and they live by it. This is the reason why uh, individuals are decrepit. This is the reason why individuals are angry all the time. This is why individuals uh, have let the authority fall on the woman when this in itself God has commanded us not to because it would destroy the woman. So. Uh, lay it to heart and actually hearken to it that way you don't actually have to pay or, or suffer through any of these uh, ailments or uh, any of these unnecessary suffrages as you and, you and yourself you've already confirmed it within yourself and in your heart and in your mind and your, in your, in your soul uh, that all of this stuff is just completely unnecessary because you have the authority to get rid of all of it using the truth uh, to your advantage to actually fight to get your deliverances and to be whole and to fight the biggest battles and all battles and every battle if you use anything other than the truth to fight your battle you're obviously going to lose i know some of these things make sense and some of these things are logical but that in itself is just a delusion uh, and honestly you you've never uh, really um experienced a delusion in itself for you to actually be able to be sensib uh sensibly sharp so uh you're going to straight up believe this delusion and you're going to be cursed and you're never going to get out of it you're going to get sucked into the vortex and who's going to help you no nobody can help you because you don't even see that there's a problem there to to begin with you, you don't see it you don't see the the, the false whatsoever you, your eyes are completely blind to your actual decrepitness uh your wretchedness uh Nobody's going to save you whatsoever because you haven't even admitted that there's a problem to begin with. So if you're telling yourself that it's just not your time or some other excuse, you'll never get delivered. It is by grace through faith you are ever delivered. So lose the blessings to replace all of your curses. Uh, and start early by acting how you'd act in heaven as the kingdom of darkness has been using you to destroy you. Uh, this is going to take discernment to get rid of all angels of light, but why wait? Uh, just attack them all and keep a quiet mind and stay like that. Uh, when you die, all demons leave you alone. So why don't they do that now? Obviously because you don't let them leave because you doubt God and being whole not only that you wait until you have the faith to have them all leave because you think there's a special prayer or wording that will get rid of them so just let them all leave the hidden or obvious ones and pride will always be the reason why you were blind to see you have a serious problem and for you to recognize obvious sins to someone else who's already recognized these sins uh but you just don't see it like that or that there even is a problem to to encourage you that you never get better or worse to never get saved as this generally seems to be the main uh uh logic that kills individuals is uh and, and the main form of intelligence that individuals rely on they rely on their own self intelligence what they know about themselves uh to be guided into the truth and obviously christ himself uh, says specifically that he is the way the truth and the life no man comes to the Father except through Him. So anything else contrary to Jesus Christ, anything else that is even twisted and slightly uh, off or tweaked uh, from what Christ said and what Christ has commanded is obviously a lie. It's out of harmony with the truth and out of harmony with God itself. So self-explanatory. But you're going to have to fast to ensure that these all these things that I have even mentioned are even a part of your own uh, way of thinking and just truth, just to completely nullify uh, their tactics and even their attempts that come inside of your life. As now you already have come to the knowledge and understanding that uh, that you have this very real possibility for you to actually be down here on earth as you would be in heaven and you use this truth to actually fight your battles and to actually be whole uh, and to actually help you be the disciple uh, that Christ himself wants you to be. This is obviously going to be determined on your own will but even that in itself is a grace. You're not going to be able to do it by yourself so you have to give it 100% uh, to Christ and say that it is 100% Christ itself including your own willpower and, and your own will. As, as the, the Holy Spirit himself is a reason why you even repented and the Holy Spirit himself is a reason why you are even saved he's the one who opened your eyes and he's the one who did all of the work so you didn't even do a single thing you didn't even save yourself the holy spirit is what ended up saving you by opening your eyes and letting you recognize what is actually truth so use the truth to fight all of your battles
and moves the blessings to replace all of your curses that are inside of your vessel. Start early by acting how you would act in heaven. As the kingdom of darkness has been using you to destroy you. So that one is pretty just self-explanatory in itself. As they're using your darkness to destroy you. Uh, whereas the kingdom of light uh, and the kingdom of heaven in itself is 100% absolute truth. Which is 100% absolute scriptures. This is just a way of living. There is no temptation or anything like that. Or anything that is even contrary to what is actually written in the scriptures. Uh, for you to even entertain or for you to even guess. As individuals already have this foreknowledge as well. That if they were in heaven... They already have recognized the scriptures to be 100% true. So this in itself is a subtle confession that they should be using the truth to fight the truth. And everything that the devil is doing is completely pointless. But obviously a lot of different things happen inside of their lives. They're not really ground in this faith. Uh, and they haven't really fasted to ensure that they're actually applying this way of thinking in all aspects of their life. Uh, and just acting in the same manner as they will act as they do in heaven. So... Honestly, this is the real reason why. This is the exact reason why they just haven't had the habit. Form. They're already confessing. They have come to the knowledge and the understanding that it's actually truth, but they don't actually apply it to their life. So it's completely stupid. Uh, this is in short what's actually happening. So let them all leave. Uh, this one in itself was actually just obvious. So when you die, all demons actually leave you alone because they don't have anything to actually work towards. So what is actually causing these demons to actually remain and, and stay on you? It's just because individuals don't want to let them leave. They think that they have to wait until they die to let them all leave. But they already have the faith to let them all leave because they already have come to understand it that they all should leave when they die. So what is really causing them to actually stay inside of your life? They don't have any legal grounds. It's just based on your faith. You don't want to let these demons leave. You think that you have to say uh, some, some special wording or some special prayer to ensure that you actually get saved but obviously that in itself is another confession that you have confessed that it is all about th done through your faith and you're not going to be able to uh get delivered and, and made whole in the same manner how uh you would be whole if you were actually saved i mean if you actually died or uh, if if you were actually glorified already as this in itself is in short ways actually is uh, as the the incorruptible will be raised, uh, the, the the corruptible will be raised incorruptible, and just like that, Christ Himself will give everyone the glorified body, and, and you will be in the same manner and likeness as you would be in heaven down here on earth. So, if you have this type of faith for you to actually be able to accept that this is a real possibility for you, uh, then realistically, what is stopping you from already achieving this? Just use the truth to obviously fight this, to have it form inside of your habit, to have it form inside of your mind. That way it is a habit. And in your heart, your soul, your will, and your emotions, as this in short is what is actually uh, happening to you. And this is why you're actually a mess. You're not really using the truth to actually fight the truth. But the truth never changes. So obviously this is all 100% completely pointless. Uh... Give it to Christ as that way he could actually, or just attack the root cause and give it to Christ at the same time. That way you could just get, shoot first and ask questions later. So, uh, thank you for listening to this. Uh, I have one more thing to say. Uh, the Jezebel spirit and everyone operating in this philosophy and doctrine are all uh, working together to kill each other when they, whether they know it or not. The best example I could give is women in tight clothing where they will receive the attention getting reward system and the men under that spirit give them attention because they are under Jezebel's control and ignorance. Encouraging her to actually continue dressing like that to kill her as this is Jezebel's networking and kingdom happening in the spiritual realm through her clothing and philosophy. And when a person doesn't tolerate it, it, it confuses them and they return to the right mind or the flesh will get stirred up and they'll get angry and say stop looking when realistically the only guys they attract are dogs and guys they don't typically like now i just wanted to add that uh, just because uh that's uh, how things actually end up happening uh, it's like everyone in under that spirit and every, everyone under the spirit of greed and everyone under the spirit of pride and everyone under these spirits are all killing each other off they're all encouraging each other to continue in these sins everyone in the secular lives is, is all killing each other off and every one of these individuals are just encouraging themselves uh to continue uh uh killing each other off
it's a continuing sin. So uh, obviously the Jezebel spirit is, is encouraged and, and fills this individual with some sort of worth or something that gives them some some kind of confirmation uh, to confirm that they should actually continue living in this lifestyle. But if an individual just does not approve or nods, shakes their head in, in disapproval and says, you need to change or you need to do this or you need to do that, that's when individuals either get stirred up or or things like that i'll just even make the comparison with somebody even slightly attractive or somebody just attractive uh disproves of how they're how they live and their dressing and how they act these individuals actually want to make a change within themselves because they're not really uh attracting the types of individuals they like or they see somebody else who's just rational or somebody who's just saved and not in this secular life so this in itself throws it off but uh these uh, reward systems and these comparisons in themselves are actually um, uh, what is actually killing them all off. So all these individuals are dying. All these individuals are are in ignorance uh, about what they how they're actually being used by Jezebel herself and the spirit herself uh, to kill this specific woman herself. So obviously these individuals are going to need help. Uh, these individuals are going to need help, uh, but uh, it's, it's it's almost a lost cause because some of these individuals are way too indoctrinated in it, and they absolutely hate uh, dress wearing dresses and, and dressing uh, modestly or even uh, not unseemly, as these individuals have a genuine. Uh, addiction to dressing in this manner because of the reward system this woman has given them so i just get rid of all of it don't hesitate and don't play games with it don't listen to the secular lie it's all a lie use the world uh, use the the world of truth to fight your battles uh and obviously all darkness will be driven out by by light itself advance uh give it to christ uh, and, co and keep moving forward. Uh, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, thank you, people. Break all the curses and hexes that are on you. I know this video is about to end either way, so... Uh, yeah, probably like whatever, but... Uh, so, this is... I'm just going to talk about that. So, seriously, hearken to that as the Jezebel spirit is the one that's networking all of it. This is why you go into, into Walmart and... and uh, these these women in tight clothing get this kind of reward system, uh, but Christ Himself actually ends up rebuking these women uh, for dressing in this manner, uh, and just because they should not be dressed like that whatsoever, to try to get them out of Jezebel's networking and, and to actually uh, help them and guide them and move them in the right direction to ensure that uh, that that woman doesn't actually end up killing them. So he does this out of love. As many as he loves, he rebukes and chastens. He hits them. He disciplines them until they actually learn their lesson. So obviously it's good. Be zealous, therefore, and give it to Christ. As well as the Leviathan spirit encourages guys to all destroy each other off and be proud and this is my manliness type of stuff. But the world of truth in itself just is totally contrary to that and is nowhere near that. And they've already come to the knowledge and understanding that that's all a lie and they don't like it whatsoever. It's just like how it's written in Proverbs 8. Uh, the fear of the Lord is to hate pride and arrogance and perverse speech and all these things I hate. It's the same as that concept. So uh, if you hate any of these things, good for you. Uh, keep keep it uh, and ask for a more excellent way and ask for more wisdom uh if you hate pride good for you if you hate arrogance good for you if you hate perverse speech great good for you uh and that's basically about it so uh thank you uh for watching this video uh grace and peace be multiplied to you and mercy uh, and the grace is to actually be able to have this habit formed already and as well as the grace is to actually be able to walk in this work to ensure that you actually are using the truth to fight all your battles and you actually are using your authority to, to get rid of all the demons that obviously should not be there whatsoever because you have the authority to break everything and anything. In Jesus Christ's name, this is what was bought with the blood. If Christ died for all sins, then every sin is a demon itself. 
obviously there's not one sin on you that has any dominion on you whatsoever. Not even the devil himself has any dominion on you whatsoever. So, uh, thank you. Hearken to it. Lay it to heart. Uh, I know, give it to Christ as he has a more excellent way than this. He usually discards my posts after a day and, and he just uses something else. As he is infinite in wisdom, he's not going to run out of wisdom today, tomorrow, or the day after. So uh, be encouraged by that. There's always a more excellent way. And be excited and eager uh, to hear his new wisdom and his new uh, knowledge to further... Uh, um, for you to actually come to the knowledge uh, of the depth of person that, that Christ actually is. Uh, may the graces be loose inside of your vessel to ensure that you actually are able to do all of the works that I have mentioned in all of my videos and to be sinless. In Jesus Christ's name, 